I think President Trump has placed uh, uh, tremendous uh, pressures and sanctions on Iran. I think we're seeing that. We're seeing the uh, Iranian empire totter. We see uh, uh, demonstrations in, uh, in Tehran, demonstrations in Baghdad, demonstrations in uh, Beirut. And I think uh, it's important to increase this pressure uh, against Iranian aggression. We also see that Iran wants to march forward with uh, uh, nuclear bombs development and um, ballistic missile development, including precision-guided munitions. This has to be countered. And the way to counter it is more pressure. I spoke out against uh, six European countries that instead of supporting now American sanctions, lessened American sanctions. That is wrong. I said, and I repeat it here today, they should be ashamed of themselves. While people are risking their lives and dying on the streets of, uh, of Tehran, they are giving uh, sustenance and uh, support to this tyrannical regime. The tyrants of Tehran should not be supported now. They should be pressured. President Trump said he supported those protesters yesterday in a tweet. Do you also support the protesters in Iran? Well, of course. Look at my, uh, uh, not my tweet, but look at my uh, Facebook uh, entry uh, from two days ago, and you'll see how strong And why the Russian today is meeting with Secretary Pompeo flying all this way? Why, why the rush to have this meeting today? Uh, it's not a rush. We have uh, periodic meetings in Europe. Uh, there are many, many important issues. I'd like to bring up uh, first Iran, increasing the pressures on Iran and other ideas that relate to Iran that I won't um, uh, itemize here. Uh, I want to advance uh, an American-Israel defense treaty, which I think will be will add to our national security in a fundamental way. And I also want to discuss uh, the uh, uh, creation of a, uh, a permanent border, Israel's permanent eastern security border in the Jordan Valley. Thank you.